हेलो एवरीवन आई एम उमा मल्लिकार्जुन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल प्रक्रिया एजुकेशंस इन दिस मॉड्यूल वी शल लर्न हाउ टू फाइंड द इनवर्स ऑफ थ्री क्रॉस थ्री मैट्रिक्स यूजिंग एलिमेंटरी ट्रांसफॉर्मेशंस लुक एट द फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम वी शल नाउ यूज एलिमेंटरी रो ऑपरेशंस to find the inverse of this matrix we shall start with our first step that is a is equal to i into a we shall follow a small pattern to find the inverse of this 3 cross 3 matrix because most of the students struggle to find the inverse of this big matrix now consider a matrix which is of 3 cross 3 the first step will be i'll make this element as 1 the second step i go for the next make it 0 make this 0 this will be my first step that is clearing the first column then go for the second step make this as 1 again go for the next step make these two elements 0 come back here make this 0 now move on for the third column this is my seventh step make this one go straightly for the next two elements make those two elements as zero in the if you are applying this pattern then you will certainly find a very easy method to find the inverse of a given 3 cross 3 matrix now applying the same pattern for this given matrix we shall have the first step as since the first step in the first step of minus making the first element as 1 here in this matrix it is already what now making these two elements as 0 i shall make i shall apply the operations i shall change r to as and similar simultaneously i'll also change r3 as after applying these operations we get now look at the first column we have successfully made 1 0 0 now we have to make this element as 1 since after this my next target is this one now to make that as 1 i can easily interchange these two rows and hence the operation will be i'll interchange r2 and r3 rows hence we get in the next step our next target is to make these two elements zero now for those i'll put the operations as after applying these operations we get the final matrix as next our next target is to make this column now after finishing are two columns the next target is this element to make that as one i'll apply the operation r3 i'll divide r3 by minus 25 and hence we get the next target is to make these two elements as zero and hence i ap apply the operations as r1 changes to applying these two operations we get the final matrix as now you can notice that the matrix which is in the lhs has become an identity matrix is equal to the new matrix which is nothing but b into a and you can conclude that the new matrix that we have got which is b is nothing but the inverse of the matrix a and hence this is how we find the inverse of a 3 cross 3 matrix using the elementary row operations in the similar fashion we can also find the inverse of a 3 cross 3 matrix using elementary column operations also we have a pattern for this 
the first one this element should become one then following with the same row then this element should become one this is your first step second step third step fourth this is your fifth coming back sixth then seven eight and nine if you are following this pattern for and applying elementary column operations you will get the inverse of a three cross three matrix as simple as you had got in the row operations starting with the problem we start with a is equal to a into i since the first element is already one we need not change that element now looking at the second and third step we need to change these two elements writing the elementary operations for that for changing the second column we write the operation c2 changes to applying these two operations we end up with this result now the next step is to change this element and hence i shall divide c2 by minus 9 hence we get the next step is to change these two elements now applying the operations now our next target is this element and hence i apply the operation now changing the last two elements and our last step will be now you can notice that we have reduced the given matrix into i is equal to a remains the new matrix that we got is b and hence the new matrix b is nothing but the a inverse or the inverse of a you can also check the result that we have got now and the result which we had obtained in the previous problem that is when we had used elementary row operations you can check that both the results are equal you might have noticed that we have obtained the inverse of a 3 cross 3 matrix using elementary row as well as column operations in just 6 to 7 steps and also remember that i haven't used any difficult type of operations in between i have just used the pattern that i had thought for zero you need to subtract or add any two columns or any two rows for getting one you have to just divide the element by the same element which you have got and hence in this pattern you can find the inverse of 3 cross 3 matrix very easily please just go through with some more examples of the same kind hope you enjoyed the video please don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you